Well, howdy folks. Hey, thanks for watching. I got one for you today. This is another review. I know I've been doing too many reviews. I guess I just buy too much stuff. I don't buy these things to do the review. I buy these things because I want them. And then I think, eh, maybe I need to do a review in case someone else wants one. So a while back, I bought a camera system for my house. I had one that was a, it was called a Wise Cam, W-Y-Z-E. Wise cam outdoor camera. I had four cameras around different places of my house. And this camera system was pretty slick because it's 100% wireless. You don't have to plug into electrical. You don't have to plug into your internet. It's Wi-Fi and battery powered rechargeable batteries. It worked really well. Uh, actually surprisingly well, especially for the money. It's a pretty inexpensive camera system. Now I got to the point where I was tired of charging the batteries, you know, they'd go dead and uh, it'd take two or three months depending on how much you decided to record with them. But you had to bring them in, plug them in, let them charge and then put them back out. It ran off of Wi-Fi, so if you don't have a good signal to certain parts, you won't be able to use it. But I wanted to get something that was wired. I didn't have to mess with anymore. So I bought the Reolink RLN8-410. Now this is a four camera system but the NVR that it comes with is an eight channel system. So you can put up to eight cameras on this one system. It is PoE, which is power over ethernet. So you don't have to run power to it because when you plug in your cat six cable, cat five cable, it takes power to the camera. So that was something that I liked. Um, now it is a bit of a hassle running the cables. I had to get in my attic, I'm a pretty big guy. I don't like crawling through the attic. Uh, it wasn't easy, but I was able to pull the wires through. We also did this at my daughter's house. Fortunately, I didn't have to get in that attic. There were cables with the system, 60 feet each. So I had plenty for my house. My issue was some of the views that I had were not wide enough. So in order to get some of the dead spots that I wanted to be able to see, I would have had to add a couple more cameras, would have meant running a couple extra cables. I didn't really want to do that. So I was doing a little bit of looking around a couple months ago and I saw this. This is a Real Link Duo 2 PoE. They also have this Duo 2 in a uh, wireless Wi-Fi. It's not 100% wireless because you do have to run power to it still. But if you get the PoE, that takes care of the power. I already have those cables ran, so I thought this would be a good option for me. I don't have to add another camera. So my existing cameras, you'd get a view about like this, or maybe like this. With this camera, you're supposed to get a 180 view, so you can see all the way this way, all the way this way, and down. I'm not going to give you any tech specs on this. If you're into the tech stuff, I, I'm not. I'm just a homeowner that likes to get things that work. Here's, the, here's what my technology skills are. I know you got megabytes, you got bit rates, you got megahertz, gigahertz, but for me, at my age, I got man it hurts. If man does it ever hurt. <sighs> and then a megabyte, to me, is when you hook into a largemouth bass. For me, bit rate is when you have a little crappie jig. How many crappie can you catch on one jig without replacing the jig? That's bit rate. Now, this NVR that this comes with, uh, it does not work with Alexa, Google, that kind of thing. So you can't, you can't say, Alexa, show me the front door or show me the front yard or whatever. You can't do that. I didn't really care about that too much because um, it takes time anyway for that whole thing to process. So by the time that processes, gets on your TV or whatever, Whatever was out there is gone. There's a couple different things you can do. There's an app for your phone, which I have. There's also, I have an app on my MacBook. Um, then you can pull things up while you're on the computer, on your, on your laptop or whatever. Uh, I'm sure there's one for Windows, I don't know. I also have my NVR in my home office and I have a TV on the wall right above my desk and that NVR is connected with HDMI to that TV. Usually if I'm working in the office, that TV's on with all my cameras showing. Before I get into the app, I want to show you my, my old view. This is what um, the original camera view was. This is the front of my house. 
and this is the back. So go back to the front of my house. You can kind of see most of my white car there and then the other car over there. What you don't realize is after the install, I have a truck there too. <laughs> and uh, now you can see all the way over both directions in the front. In the back, you can see just to the left a little ways and you can see about to the post of where I put the covered porch uh, roof over. There's a post there and you can almost see to that there or just about to that. But here's after the new camera is installed. You can see all the way over to the fence and down the fence line, which is awesome because my dog disappears over there and, and he likes to hide things and chew up things or whatever. I can catch him now. That's after the install. Now I'm not going to go over how it installs other than just out of the box. I'll show you that here in a few minutes when I pull the camera out. Okay, so on the app you have your view of your cameras and as you can see I can add four more to that NVR and I can connect other NVRs to it if I need more cameras. But I only have the four. So if I want to see my back patio I can open the app and there we have that. Now these these two cameras, these new cameras, do have a spotlight feature, so it's it's operated by motion, um, or you can also operate it with this button right here. There's a little flashlight up at the top, and you can see that comes on, and that means the light is on. So I can turn it on from my phone. I can turn it back off from my phone as well. So that's that's pretty cool. You can turn your phone if you have rotation and give you a better view that way. If you um, want to talk to people that's out by the camera, you can hit this talk button down here. It will open up. It says tap to talk. I tap it and as I talk it comes out of the speaker. I can talk through it and you can hear it okay. You got my dog's attention earlier. You can do playback so you can watch recordings down here at the bottom you tap the playback this first last button with the car if there's automobiles that the camera picked up I can watch those the other ones if there's people there um, if I don't want to detect people I can turn that off or just motion so it gives me different options um, for playback gives you the time of the recording as you can see, there's probably a lot of trees mowing around, so it's giving me a lot of that. But if I turn that off, see, it takes all that away. So there's my dog going out. It picked it up as a person. These are supposed to have pet detection. However, I think that's in beta, so I couldn't really get it to work. Um, you can go back to your camera. And if you go to settings, you will see pet detection beta. It's off. Well, I can turn it on, but it'll go back off on its own. Now here's the problem that I've had with this. Audio and light. I go to record audio, and I hit that, and it says operation failed every time. And I don't know why. And it's on both of the cameras. So, this is also a test for customer service. I have a message into customer service. The only option I saw through the app or anything was an email. There was no phone number, no live chat, nothing like that. I did send them an email last night. I did get a message back in less than 24 hours, so that was good. However, it was asking for more information. It told me specifically what information it needed, show me where to go on my NVR to give them that information. So I did that and I sent it to them. I've not heard back from them yet. We will see how long that takes. I'm not sure why the audio will not enable on these devices. I want the audio to be recorded. Uh, another thing you have is a siren. Uh, that's up there. You can trigger the audio alarm. And you just hit that, and it'll start screaming. 
That got you all excited, didn't it? So that's basically the app. There's probably more stuff in there that if you get this, you can find out what what else it will do. So we'll just we'll take a look at this camera and. Uh, uh, first thing we have are instructions. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know. So, yeah. So here is the actual camera itself. It's actually two cameras. There are two cameras here. And so there is a line, but somehow this processes that line and it makes it look like it's one wide angle view, but it's actually two cameras processed into one. It has the power connection, which I don't need because I got PoE, so I'll be able to connect here and operate it that way. It comes with a Cat5 cable, I think, or Cat6, I don't know which. It's got the waterproof connection for this, which I will need. All the mounting hardware, you can get a screwdriver. And here's the mounting bracket. So this this piece gets mounted to the wall with two screws. And then this goes on top of that, hooks on there. And then you get a small attachment screw that goes there. Now if you're hanging this on a soffit, you still use the two screws there. And then you put that in and then instead of a short screw you use another long screw to go through this third opening to hold it to the soffit so there it is installed easy to install you can see the one screw on the bottom there and the metal plate that i showed you is screwed to the, the wall the white part just hooks on there you put that screw in to hold it so if you're interested in this i'll put a link down below make sure you hit subscribe make sure you give me well that's a finger don't give me a finger <laughs> uh, it's a pointing finger that's not the finger you're thinking of make sure you give me a thumbs up I don't even know why I have this it was laying here so I thought I'd use it so yeah so I pray that God blesses you and I hope that you have a great day thanks bye